how I can win the game. Okay, I do know one principle. If I'll be able to get this pawn and steal my king in front of my pawn and get possibly a position or use my shoulder, then I will win the game, right? Right. So what's the smart way? What's the smartest way here to win the game? Are you ready? We're thinking from the end. Show me. Tell me. King D3. King where? D3. It's like that. King D3. So we're trying to get. Like King D3, what are you doing? You're still going this direction, right? Yeah. So while you're extending a direction, he says shorter, right? King C3, B4. Because um, I'm going with King D3 because the king goes over there and, over, and my king goes to the other king. I get this off the other king. No, no it's too long. It's long stories. No. No. Well, is there any other way to get a pawn? Go ahead. Uh, B3. B3. Yeah. Just B3. Yeah. You're saying there's no more pawn headache. B3. B pawn B3, trade the pawns, draw, go home. Oh. Right? No headache. King B1. Uh-huh. And can you tell me, what is the difference between having King B1 and King C3? Why did you choose King B1? Because you're behind the pawn. No. King B1, it's preventing black to do what? Oh, have the king in the pawn is mm, Not really. Let me, let me get back for a second. So why that move? It's like most natural move, Shayla. Shayla, okay, like, what's the problem here? Why? Because if the pawn moves down, the king will be on the same line. It's not about that. It's well, because, I mean, because pawn will switch down. from B file to A file. The H pawn, it's always bad. So because you have no space to move, you know what I'm saying, to use it. So when black pawn will jump on A3, it forces white to switch the file, and it's not good for you, correct? And if, if I play here, and you try, let's say, to push your pawn, let's say B4, and then eventually with idea getting your, your, I mean my pawn with your king, then you know what? To get this pawn and then stand in front of your pawn, you must make how many moves? One, yeah. two, three, at least four. Now, check it out. One, two, three, I'm already here. Plus my turn. How possibly you can have your king in front of your pawn and win your game. That's why, guys, we're thinking from the end. You see, that's called simple calculation, logical thinking. Since white knows how to win this type of positions, they're not playing king c3. Now, king b1, I'm trying, I'm thinking, okay, if I get this pawn with my king, guys, is it boring here? If I get black pawn with my king, I still will be in front of my pawn, correct? And let's count how many moves do I need to get this pawn? How many? Four. This one right now. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. I made one, one move like you did. Four. You're right. So, one, two, three. But let's say here, 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 there. That's it. So I won. Now, white black's chance is only to. Have you ever studied this line with someone else, with your coach, or maybe by yourself? No. Does anybody knows? Anyone know this line? No. Well, you see, originally we have two main response on this move. On, I mean, on, on move bishop c4. We have Gucci Piano style, which is uh, Bishop C5. Actually, it's called Italian. Like I said, it's a double name. And uh, Bishop C after Bishop C5, usually white having many lines, many plans. Exactly Gucci Piano line is when white playing C3, I did try to support with my C pawn, my D pawn, and play D4, and having two pawns inside in the center. 
And after my response, now that f6, they playing d3, since my pawn d4 kind of hanging. I'm having this pawn structure. Then eventually, when I'm done with my development, my castling, I'm trying to still prepare d4 move. And since I'm playing d3 and then d4, the name came as Gucci Piano, slow playing. Because you play d3 and then d4. Understood? But original Italian game, let's say, let me remind one more time. So we have moves order bishop c5, c3. You should have some notes. It's hard to you would be to memorize everything. Anthony, can you provide some piece of paper, some yes. pencils for them? You should have some notes here for sure. So <clears throat> I'm going to get back. So c3, original idea is to support my d pawn, jump on d4, and create a strong center. You see, guys, the center is good when you have one pawn inside. But the center is better when you have two pawns inside, obviously. And as more as your pawns advance, the stronger are your center. Right? Okay. So c3, blacks respond here, knight f6. Again, the best way since black trying to develop the king side and trying to simply, you know, be better development, then d4, capturing, recapture, bishop b4 check, bishop b2, Bishop captures e2, knight e2, and now rules. So we can't allow white to have strong center. So black need to respond very directly. So every time when you're playing against center, you must respond very directly. And that's why only move here is d5. Strike the center. Force white take the pawn and then take it back, having no more position for both sides. Well, as of now.